Good morning. It is a wonderful Wednesday. It is February 16th. And today's walk with God, God is always on time. Resurrection life. When you see the two videos that I'm going to be doing, one on the Trinity and another one called It Is Finished, you will see why. And this is today's walk with God. So it's all going to fit together like a puzzle. Just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Listen to that. That's Romans chapter 6, verse 4. If new life is ours in Christ, why does life often seem so old? Why do we struggle with sin and death when we're united with the one who overcame? came both. Perhaps the answer lies within us. Perhaps it's all a matter of perspective. Perhaps when the Bible says we've died and been raised up again, we haven't really believed it. We're reminded of our old nature often, and we let it speak louder than the promise of God. Effective discipleship, the fruitful Christian walk, begins with death and resurrection. This is foundational. If we see ourselves as people in a process of reform, trying to make the bad habits good and sinful tendencies weak, we will fail. But if we see ourselves as dead and then raised, then we have the basis for a new way of life and in fact, a new life that isn't really ours. It's his and only he knows how to live it. It's critical for us to understand Jesus doesn't offer to improve us. He offers to let us die and then to inhabit our personalities with his presence. Amen. That's why discipleship can hurt. There's a cross, but it's the key to the glory that follows. Are you living the resurrection life? Many Christians are striving in the flesh to do the works of the spirit, and they are frustrated and tired. Wouldn't you rather rest in the resurrection than try to overhaul the old nature that was and should continually be crucified with Jesus? New life is an internal blessing, but it has no short term beneath if we refuse to live in it. How do you get there? Not by striving and straining for it, not by reading about it, and not by frantically immersing yourself in church life. No, just by asking. Ask often. Trust deeply. Let yourself be convinced of the promise. Think about it often. And most of all, give Jesus free reign in your heart. The power of his resurrection is available when the power of yourself is exhausted. Live in his power, or better yet, let his power live in you. Oswald Chambers says, The characteristic of the new birth is that I yield myself so completely to God that Christ is formed in me. God bless you and have a wonderful day.